Hi guys, welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna be doing something different. I'm sharing a recipe with you guys as along with teaching my kids something. They're home from school, we are all at home, and I wanna teach them something because we do our daily teaching every day, but today I'm gonna make it more fun for them, and I also I'm gonna be sharing it with you guys. So today's recipe will be something that they're gonna be surprised about and you're gonna enjoy watching it. <sighs> so today's recipe is gonna be a Guyana's flag cake. Did you say cake? cake? I did guys, it's I said cake. cake, but guess who's gonna help me with this cake guys? Oh. You guys! Yay! You guys get to help me with that cake. So, I'm gonna put out all, all the ingredients and then we can start building this cake together, guys. Sounds good. Good. So guys, for this cake, we, we're we just making half a pound of cake. This is gonna give us the perfect amount that we need to um, make this guy in a flat cake. And we're gonna put icing on top of the cake that I'm gonna mix my own icing from scratch and the kids are gonna help me with that. And we're gonna ice this cake with all the different colors of the flag. So if you come on down here, we Machu is gonna be my helper today. So he's very Hi. happy to help me to make this cake. He's been asking me a long time. So in here we have, because we're making half a pound, we have half a pound of brown sugar, half a pound of butter that I weigh from my scale here, and I have my half a pound of flour waiting to add in. And what we're gonna do here, guys, we're gonna um, mix this up until all the sugar crystals are melted. And this is a fruit cake that we're making. We already make a sponge cake. It's a similar, um, similar way that we're doing it, except for this one, we're adding fruits to this one. So we're gonna mix this up until all the crystals are broken down and until we are, there is no more sh sugar crystals and then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So Matthew, you wanna help me with this? Sure. Just hold this button on the top here and then turn gently with the handle. Yeah, but you have to move it around. So we're gonna do this, yes. So we're halfway in the battering stage. In the meantime, I'm gonna be breaking six eggs in a bowl. So I'm gonna break them into this bowl here. And then, Matthew, do you want, did you wanna bring me a, something to rest this in? Okay, mom. So I'm gonna um, break all six of the eggs because I like to take out what I don't want from the egg. And then, thank you. So I'm gonna put the shells in here. And then we need six eggs for this half pound of um, fruit cake that we're making. So I have three, and this one is four, and this one is five. A piece of shell got into there. And this one here is our last one. And now I'm gonna go into here and take out all these little unwanted things like I always do for any cake recipe that I'm making. I don't like to keep these um, little membrane that the egg has because I don't think that will taste nice in this cake. You're like, no. So guys, I have all the eggs in here. I'm gonna pour them into this blender. You might wonder why the blender look like that. This blender, I blended up the fruits that I have to add into the cake, the fruit, because we're making a fruit cake. And I wanna get out all the goodness that's still in the blender. So I'm gonna blend these six eggs in here before I add them to the batter. In that way, I'm getting all of the fruits that was left in the blender. So that's the reason why I will be um, blending my eggs in here. Guys, the eggs that we, the six eggs that we beat, um, mix in the blender. We're gonna add them to the batter slowly, slowly until we finish. Matthew, you wanna pour a little for me? Okay. Okay, little, okay? Yes, you can pour some more. So we're gonna pour little, little until this, this is all, the crystals are all melted. You pour little by little. Okay, you can clean soft now. So 
the batter is done, the sugar is already mixed in with the um, butter, and I'm going to be adding two, two tablespoons of baking powder into my flour here. And because we want the cake to be nice and fluffy, so I'm going to add that into the flour, and then I will be adding here um, two, Max, you if you want to hold a spoon, two teaspoon of um, vanilla extract. Vanilla extra and Matthew, I'm gonna put this in here and then you pour it into the cake. Yeah, one more. Okay, good. So that's the vanilla extra that we put in into the cake and then you, if you want to put this back for me, thank you. Then now we're gonna add about a tea teaspoon of ground nutmeg and I'm gonna grate that freshly in here right now so once I finish grating the nutmeg I'm gonna mix this a little bit more with the cake mixer so the nutmeg and the vanilla extract can mix in into the batter so I want to put a nice amount because this really flavor up cake nicely the aroma is amazing and the flavor with in um, any cake tastes so great for me. I so, already smell it. I know, I love this. It scent. smells so nutmeggy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it does. So I will mix this up a little. Like so my video camera person, Jessica, is going to help me to batter this pan. That Grease. Yeah, to grease this pan that we're going to make the cake in. And she's going to rub the butter on the bottom and on the sides. So we can, um, this is where we're going to bake the cake in. We want to have that nice um, rectangle shape because that's how the flag is. So we're using this pan. And Jessie, you're doing an awesome job. <laughs> so we're going to let her batter that up. And then she's going to add some flour to put in the bottom. So the cake won't stick to the pan. So she finished, Jesse finished um, putting the butter into the pan. So now she's going to put some flour to grease the pan properly so the cake won't stick. You can throw more, Jess. Throw more. The flour helps it a lot more, so, yeah. so it doesn't stick. Yeah. Put some. Yeah, okay. So shake it around now. And she's going to do that until it's coated on all sides on the bottom and this will, will help the cake to bake properly and not stick to the bottom. You're doing a good job little baker girl. <laughs> so we have here on the scale we have the fruit that we're going to be adding to the cake and this is one and a half cups of raisins that I use and I use half cup of dates but I had, um, I soak it and I blend it up in some um, cherry li liqueur. So now after blending it, don't hold here, just We have about three quarter cups of um, blended up raisins and dates. And that I'm going to add into the batter because we're making a fruit cake. So that's, we need fruit to be in here and... This is gonna make that a nice, rich fruit cake. So I'm gonna mix this into the batter before I add the flour. So look how nice this is looking, guys. Are you getting to see, Jess? Yeah. Look how nice. So we incorporate all the that fruits. so good. And this is gonna be a perfect, perfect fruit cake when we, um, when we finish. The smell, I can smell that nice liqueur from the, um, fruits that we add in and I love the color that I can that I'm seeing in here so now into here and look Jess look how beautiful you batter this pan thank you um Natalie here is gonna help me to hold this um strainer over here Natalie we'll take it off from here so we're gonna sift our baking powder and our flour into the batter okay so that's what we're gonna do. You can, I know it's heavy. So what you can, can do, Natalie? Yep, yeah, you can shake like this. You only have, yep, yeah, like can that. I, can I do it? So we wanna pass it through the strainer, just so if there is anything in the flour that's not needed. <laughs> Sorry. Bless it. It can go in here. <laughs> that we can, um, that we can get them out if there is anything in the flour, but there is nothing actually. But we just wanna be on the safe side. So that's how we wanna 
um, sift it and that makes, I find when you sift the flour, the cake usually come out a little bit more fluffier. So we're gonna mix this up nicely. Wanna try Natalie? Yeah. Try quickly. And I have my oven preheating on 350 degrees. So once that's hot, then I'll pour everything. Let mommy do this part when, now. When once it's, it's hot, then I'm gonna pour everything into the mixing, um, the baking pan. Oh, the oven hard us, you hear that? Yeah. It's ready. So now this is looking good. I like the color from the fruit that we're seeing in the batter here. And this is all that we need to do. You can add into here some citrus. You can add some cherries if you like. But today I'm just gonna do it with the regular fruits. And when you cut this, you're gonna see all chunks of fruit in there. I know you guys can't wait, right? Yeah. yeah. This will yeah. be so yummy. But the best mm. part is when we're gonna ice this with the the colors of the flag, right? Oh, oh so, that would be so cool. I know. So, so we can eat it. So you guys are doing an amazing job helping me with this. So now guys, we're gonna pour this into the baking pan and they it can all fit in here. Natalie, let mommy just scrape oh my everything gosh, I over. wanna eat that. Jess, you can come over here so okay. you can see. Okay, so we're gonna scrape everything into here and see how easy that was, guys. guys jessica and matthew and natalie do you guys think you can bake this cake on your own no yeah. no <laughs> i need a little like, bit help anytime you're putting it it's going on the sides that's cool yeah so we're gonna spread it out because we want it evenly and all side even so when you put it in the oven it's gonna spread out anyways so we'll put this into the oven for like 35 to 40 and then i'll check 40 minutes and we're not covering this cake and then we'll check it to see and test it out to see when it's done. If it's not done by then, and I'm pretty sure it will be done because it's not a thick cake. Can I do it like this? We will, um, yes, we will take it out and then we will start the process. We have to cool it down and then we're gonna start the- I can't um, wait. The icing. So guys, I'm gonna put this in the oven and then we'll show you guys after we're done. Okay guys, after 40 minutes in a 350 degree oven, the cake is now done. But uh, because we're gonna ice it, we cannot do it when it's hot. So we have to let this cool off before we start the icing process. So I'm gonna leave it to sit until it's cold and then we'll come back. In the meantime, we're gonna go start another game, let the cake cool and then we'll come back and then show that exciting part. Let's go! Shake. Okay guys, so while we're waiting for the cake to cool off, we're gonna do a fun game, the twister. Yeah. And everybody loves this one, right Natalie? Yeah, I see, love it so much. Let me much. see your, um, your face if you're excited to play this game. Yes, I am! Let me see you, Matt. This will be super fun. I can't see your face. And look at me. I can't see your face. This yeah. will be super fun. That's how excited okay, you are. Okay, Mom, I spin. Okay guys, so the moment is here. The cake is done and it's cold. It, look at it, it's nice and soft. And guys, it looks dark because I use brown sugar and the fruits that we added along with the um, cherry liqueur. That's why it looks so dark, but it's perfectly done. I have in this bag here some icing um, sugar, which I will need for the, um, I need this for the, the icing. So I'm gonna use, this is half a cup. I wanna put it in here and I'm gonna do another half cup, which is one cup all together. I'm gonna mix this up and I'm gonna show you guys how I make my, um, how I do my icing. And this is how we did it back home. And I wanna shout out to my sister because my sister used to go to icing classes and when she came home with her homework, she had to do a cake for her homework. I used to sit down and look at her or help her to clean up or wash the dishes that she messed or something like that. And from that, I learned how to do my own icing. So she did the class and I learned from her for when she had her homework. So I wanna shout out to my sister. If you're watching this video, I hope this brings back great memory for you. So today I am sharing this with you guys along as I'm making memories with my kids. So for the icing sugar to become liquidy, I need um, lime juice, 
or lemon juice but i have two nice farm um juicy lime i already rolled them off guys a tip for getting more juice out of your lime just before you squeeze it you can roll the lime like um like this and it helps you to get more juice out of the lime so i need a lime juice and i need egg white so i have two eggs here we won't need a yellow the yolk we need a white so let me juice these two um limes and then i'll show you guys how we mix it can you please bring me a knife Matthew? can i help you so, with the egg white so i will um i'll get everything together and then we'll show you guys the next step so I'm cutting these lime to juice them and I have a little thing here that I use to help me juice lime and it works perfect every time I use it. So I just want to cut these back in quarters and I just put it here and then all I have to do because I, I'm straining it because to make this icing, look how much juice is coming out, to make this icing, um, I, all I need, Natalie, can you please hold here, mommy? Sure. All I need is the juice. I don't want the pulp to go into the icing. So that's why I'm straining it. So I'm going to get out all the juice of the lime. And then I will um, start the mixing process. And once we do that, the lime help it to, um, to stay wet. And plus, the lime give a nice flavor to the icing sugar. So that's what I like to use lime, guys. And if you don't have lime, you can also use lemon. Lemon work just as well as the lime will work for you. But today I wanted to use lime because that's what I have. I don't have any lemon at this moment. But I see that I'm getting a good portion of lime in here. So guys, while mixing it, you have to... Natalie, you're pulling the glass, mama. Because you're putting You have to come closer to me. Come closer to me. That's okay. It's only lime juice. You're going to smell nice. Um, so I want to put enough of the lime juice so I don't yeah, have, I don't um, run out when I'm mixing. You can always do one lime and, and mix and then you can always add as you go. So I will do two just in case if I need, um, if I need that much. Uh oh, oh. Oh, sorry. Okay, come put that strong one. Put back the strainer. Thank you, Jess. Okay, so let me do that. Okay, that's good. I think you know what, Jess? I think I should work with the one line. That's a good portion. Maybe you can use I will work with this one line and see if this will work. So, guys, this is the part when we have to get the egg white, and I have to be very, very careful that I'm not getting the yellow into here because we don't need the yolk. All we need is the egg white. So I'm gonna carefully do this. See, all the whites we need. Yep, Jess, sorry, sorry. And then I'm gonna put the yolk into something so I can use that later. So just the egg white we're trying to get out. And I got a good portion from this one. I just, I have to use the other shell from that one to get this out. Just have to be careful so I don't get the, um, the yolk into the bowl because then I'll have to do it all over again and this look like a nice portion I'm not gonna overdo at this point just in case so I will put the yolk in there and I'm gonna work with that two egg white for now and then I will um, add if I have to add more okay guys so I'm gonna just beat up the white a little so I can um I can loosen up the white so it's not in chunks I just want to beat it up so it can be more liquidy when I'm ready to add it to the to the um, icing sugar. It's going to be nice and liquidy instead of in chunks. And like I said, we're working with egg white. That's why we're adding the, um, the lime juice because the lime juice is going to give that such a wonderful lime flavor. So I'm going to start adding this now. See, now it's way much liquidy. Matthew, can you please give me a piece of paper towel? Sure. Yeah. So the next step we're going to do is add a little bit in here. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Okay, so I'm going to um, add a little bit in here and a spoon if you can, Matt. Okay, Mom. So this icing sugar, because it's like powder, is going to melt so quickly on some of the lime juice. Guys. 
And then work it, take your time and work it. You can do this in a blender too, but thank you, no, uh, um, other spoon. I don't want, um, you can do this in a blender too, but kind of I just wanna do it with um, a simple mix, mixer. So we don't have to, thank you ma'am. So we don't have to um, scrape out back everything from the, from the blender. I can get everything out from this bowl and I'm gonna add a little bit, see how it's coming? Very good. And after, for this, this um, icing that we're making, if it's too runny, you can always put it in your fridge and it'll get hard enough. But if you leave this in a hot place, it will get very, very liquidy and start running all over the cake. And another secret for this, guys, don't put icing on a cake when it's hot or warm or else the icing will, will run and it will, um, your colors will bleed into the other colors and it won't look nice. So we have a set here now that we're gonna add some more f icing sugar. And then once we do that, we're gonna start adding colors to them. Okay guys, so Matthew here, because our flag have five colors, Matthew here is gonna mix the icing for the red part of it. And I'm gonna put in some, we have to put a little bit at a time. So I'm using red coloring guys, and he's gonna mix. So we have to mix and check to see what um it would turn out to we have to make sure that we have I a nice red so you have to turn circular like circle 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 okay let's we need this nice bright and red so we're gonna mix 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 matthew until we get that nice let me let me get a chance to put some more looking good mm -hmm. looking nice so you're gonna mix until we have a nice deep red and if we need to add more coloring, we'll have to add more. I think we need a lot more. So, um, guys, we're doing this icing uh, for the color of um, the Guyana flag. I'm teaching my kids a little bit of uh, my tradition, which is um, my country's flag. And my country flag has five colors. And there is um, red and black yellow white and green and we're gonna try to mix all the colors to make a beautiful uh, color of the flag so matthew that looks like a nice color red and get guys guess what's the name of our co uh, my country's flag my country flag Guyana flag is called the golden arrowhead who designed it um, the flag was designed by Whitney Smith. Okay guys, so we're going to now add the yellow color and Jessica is going to mix the yellow color because our flag have yellow in it and she's going to make the yellow because Jessica love yellow. That's so we need color. a nice yellow and I can see it's looking beautiful, right? Wow, yeah. that was fast. <laughs> Jesse, your hand is like a mixer. <laughs> oh my god jessica thank you that was fast so we're gonna um that's a good thing so we don't have to mix more of the yellow and then we are gonna mix the next one now is the green natalie. okay guys so natalie here is gonna do the green mix the green coloring for the flag and natalie you're gonna go around and wrong until and this is looking good too but we need to i think we need to put a few more drops. Wow, Nelly, you're so fast. And this is, I love the different colors. Isn't that amazing how you can just put color into icing? We need to make <laughs> it brighter. Okay. And then make a so beautiful, delicious. beautiful color. Guys, this is fun. Do you yeah. Like yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I think this is so much fun. It's more better than playing with our dollies. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. you guys have to start baking with me more. <laughs> I love this so much. Okay, so you guys are all chefs today. Thank let ma you, let mommy. mommy see here now. Do you guys like this green? Yeah. Is yeah, I love nice enough? and bright. It's okay. nice and bright, and when we get a bite of it, it's going to taste so yummy. Yeah, okay. Lemon and fruit. So, guys, this is the very, very fun and excited part. So, how my country flag is um, colored in the middle here, right in this little triangle, is a red. So I'm gonna have to take my time and spread this red out. So you guys see how we mix that, um, we did the 
icing, how I mix it and what I put into the icing to make it so liquidy. So um, the lemon juice will make that the icing taste so beautiful. It looks like you buy it from a shop. And then I will have to make sure that I get this red all over. And if we have leftover icing, guys, I'm going to save it because we the kids are home now and we can make some um cookies or something and then we will we will keep working with the extra icing that we have i'm so excited to taste it so guys the next color after the red is the black and i don't have black icing but i'm being creative so i am gonna use blackberries to make the black hopefully this i'm gonna try to stick it with the icing Hopefully we get a nice turnout with this, but um, I think a little bit of fruits on this cake because I'm already, I already made a fruit cake. It won't hurt to have some fresh blackberry on the cake. So I see it's already looking nice. Oh wait, God. what do you guys think? I'm so excited. I can't wait to eat raspberry on this. I mean blackberry. I know Natalie, you're more excited to eat the cake more than anything, right? Yeah. So I will try. Oh, it's looking good already. So we have to get creative sometime. I didn't have black um, icing and I don't know if there is black and we can hardly go to the store now. So I wanna just make do of what I have. So, looking good. Mm -hmm. And this is another creative good. way, right? So it is already looking nice. So guys, since we already have the red and the black, this is time to put the yellow because the yellow is the next color. And we had to do a little bit of math with ruler and some, and this is a family affair. My husband actually helped me to make those lime. Oh my God, I taste this icing, guys. I don't know if you guys did sneakingly, but the it. flavor, oh my God, so orangey, lemony, beautiful. So guys, I'm going to keep spreading the yellow out and then we'll come back and show you guys the next step. Okay guys, it's coming together beautifully. It's not as perfect as a drawing, but it's looking amazing. So this part now, the next, the next color is white in the border. And this is a very thin strip of white, like the black, but I'm gonna take my time and try to fit it in here. So I will start and show you guys. And the, for the white is just a plain icing without any um, coloring or anything because you don't need to color this one. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing this until I'm done. I have to take time so I don't wanna keep the camera rolling for such a long time. Okay guys, so the final color, the cake is coming together. We have the red, we have the black, we have the yellow and the white. And now we're gonna be doing the final color, the green. So I'm gonna start, and this is a, the green is the biggest mm. part of the cake. Wow, it looks nice. And then I'm gonna have to take my time and spread this out. So let me spread this, and then we will come back and show you guys when it's done. So guys, thank you very much, you guys, for helping me to put this Guyana flag cake together. I really appreciate all the patience and all the help to make this possible. So let's see how it looks. Oh my, oh God, my so God. What do you guys think? I'm That's so the best flag I've ever seen. So those are the colors of it um, looks real. the flag of Guyana. And they are... Okay guys, so I'm going to tell you guys what these five beautiful colors of the Guyana flag means. What does the green mean? So the green on the flag mean, represents agriculture and forestry of Guyana. Mom, what does the white mean? The white represents the river and water potential. What does the yellow mean? And the yellow means, I like that you guys are asking me this. The yellow represents the minerals and the wealth of Guyana. What does the black mean? And the black represents the endurance of the people. Mom, what does the red mean? The red represents the zeal and dynamic nature of Guyana. That's so amazing. It is. 
I remember what it's called. It's called a golden arrow head. That is correct. Yes. So did you guys learn something today? Yeah, yes. I learned all what does all the colors mean. Okay, and I learned perfect. That we get um teach by knowing all the colors and the names. Perfect. So guys, we're it's time for us to eat this cake, right? Ooh. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah. that's delicious. Okay guys, so now is the time for us to cut the cake and I feel so sad that we have to cut the cake. Guys, how do you guys feel? I'm sad. sad. I'm this admiring the whole, the whole time. I, I don't know. want to cut it. I don't it, want looks, to cut it, looks, it looks to me. It looks, it looks real flat. It looks so good. I really don't want to cut it, but let's see how it tastes. Yeah, we have to see how it tastes, right? Yeah, it looks delicious. So, you guys all did a good job and I made you guys some tea so we can have... And I'm gonna cut now, but what I want to do instead of cutting from the bottom or the back here, we're only gonna get green, white, and yellow. And if I cut from this part here, we're only gonna we're gonna use up all this part, and we're not gonna have more of the red when we're ready for the next time. So, what do you guys think if I cut it from here? Yeah, yeah that's, that's a maybe. good idea. So Mom. you get half next time. Yeah. And half. Yeah. I can't believe yeah. you made this cake. This is so good. Yeah. I'm my so this drink. is a good idea. You can cut it like that and then we can take half from here and you can leave this for like any day. That's what I'm going to do. So guys, school. oh my God, I don't want to cut it. I don't want to cut it. But I have to cut it. Bye. So there you go. Because it was a um, fruit cake, I want you guys to see how the inside look. And we're going to have to, for that reason... Cut it so everybody can see the inside. So I'm gonna cut small pieces. Okay. I'm really and, sad we have to cut this. But we have yeah. to cut it anyways, or else then we have to keep it as a um, souvenir, right? Look like yeah. you buy so it. So look at the inside of the cake. Oh my gosh. This is that the, is so that the, looks so good. The fruit cake. So I'm gonna cut more because that was the end of the cakes. Somebody's gonna get a uh, blackberry here, and then. I'm going to cut another piece here because th that was the end of the cake. And I want you guys to see the fruits inside. So you see all this? Mm. Can you see Jess? Yes. Th this here is the fruit because I made a fruit cake. And then this one here have a little bit of all colors. Yep. So if you want to hang on to that, Matthew. And then this one here, I'm going to um, cut another piece. And you know daddy doesn't like sweets, so daddy's not participating in our <laughs> cake eating tonight. And then Jess, I know you like yellow, so I'm going to give you this piece because Thank you. this is going to have... Um, All the colors. Actually not red, but that's There's okay, right Jess? Yeah. yeah. So okay. look, look at how nice the fruit is all layered. And that's because I put the raisin and the dates. So I'm going to have this little piece along with a piece from the inside so I can let you guys know and look how moist that is. So guys, this is our cake that you guys all made and I want to mm. taste and let you guys know how the um, how the cake tastes. So I'm going to take one of one of cup of the tea and I'm going to try this piece at the end here because I can see piece of the fruit, see? Mm. And along with some of the icing. So guys, cheers. Hope you guys like this recipe. Hope you guys like the whole thing that we did with along with the kids, teaching them about the colors of my country's flag, Guyana flag. And now is the time for us to eat. So my fruit cake. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> I only taste so far the yellow icing and it's so the lemon and it, it's not too hard it's not too soft it's so lemony and the fruit from inside the cake because it was soaked with um, cherry liqueur is so amazing guys so moist and so delicious so tasty Matthew do you want to try and let me know how how you like it sure That is so good. What color did you have? I had some red. It was like, it's so good. It's kind of like sugary, lemony. It's so good. Okay. 
Natalie, how about you? You try the green? No, I didn't try it yet. So try the green. Mmm. Mmm, it tastes so good. Okay. The lime? Yeah, it mm. tastes limey. Okay, good job. Okay. okay, Jess, so you're always behind the camera. And, you, but I have to give you the chance to get your opinion. So if you want to try your cake and let us know how it tastes. Along with the icing. That's a big piece. Take <laughs> your time before you answer the question. What do you think? This cake, I can't even say a word about okay, it. Okay, well, that sounds good. It is so good. good. Okay, well, I'm glad that you like it. Okay, enjoy, guys. So, guys, I'm tasting for you guys. This piece is for all my viewers. And I want to say thank you for watching. Thank all of you for your comments and all the encouraging words and everything. Tonight, I'm going to be enjoying the rest of the cake and tea with my kids. So I would like to say um, good night and bye for now.